Hello, my freeze drying friends. Welcome to DIY Freeze Dry, where I am showing you all the fun that you can have while freeze drying. One of my viewers gave me an amazing idea of something to freeze dry, and as soon as she said it, I was like, I gotta do it. So, today I am trying out how to freeze dry pomegranate seeds. Are you someone who loves pomegranates? I think they are so good. It's just nothing that, it's something that I don't ever like buy frequently because they seem like they're hard to get the seeds out and all of that, but they are so tasty and delicious. And so I thought it would be fun to freeze dry them, see how they turn out, and then we can have them preserved on our food storage shelf for whenever we want them. And I am so sorry for my terrible sounding voice I, again, am getting over a sickness. I started working at my kids' elementary school a few weeks ago, and you know what happens. You're in the environment with all those kids. Sicknesses spread, so they caught me this weekend. But I'm doing much better, and I actually started filming this video like a week or two ago, and I'm just now getting around to finishing it off. So. We're gonna go back in time. I'm gonna show you how I prepped the pomegranates, how I got them on my freeze dryer trays. We will take it to the freeze dryer, show you the settings that we're gonna use, and go from there. Okay, I wanted to come outside because we have an amazing sunset happening right now that I've got to show you. pretty out there and here's the kicker it's 3 45 in the afternoon and that's our sunset that's what happens here in Alaska we lose lots of daylight the sun sets early it rises late but come sometime at the end of December we start adding on daylight again so it's still gonna continue to get darker until winter solstice and then we add a few minutes of daylight every day so it just takes some time to get over that hump of the darkness, but I sure am enjoying this 3.45 p.m. sunset. So I am here in my kitchen, ready to attempt to de-seed these pomegranates. And I've already got children interrupting me. Pause. Let me show you how cute first. My kiddos are out back playing in the snow. The snow line is officially higher than our little deck, so that's fun. But they at least are enjoying it. Today, we are sunny, but super cold. I think it's like eight or nine degrees out there right now. I told them it was so cold, they don't need to be out there, but they wanted to. They'll come in when they're cold, but yay. I went to Costco after my awesome viewer told me that she found great pomegranates at Costco. I found these beauties. They, pomegranates are definitely more on the expensive side of fruit. Originally priced, these were $25, but they were on sale for $19.99. So I thought, what the heck, let's give pomegranates a try in the freeze dryer. It will be fun. I am someone who loves pomegranate seeds. They are so delicious. I think they're gonna be great freeze dried. This is gonna be a fun experiment. I personally have never opened a pomegranate myself before, and not that I can remember. So I did some research over on the TikTok and found two different ways to peel and open and de-seed the pomegranate. So I'm gonna try both ways. They both start the exact same. We're going to score kind of a box around the top and then segment the pomegranate. We're just piercing the skin, opening it up, and then the differences are in how they pull the seeds out. So let's give this a try. I'm such an amateur. Okay, so I am going to do, oh, I guess I should do it more this way. And please, if y'all are pomegranate experts out there, give me some tips. What's your method of opening a pomegranate and getting the seeds out? Do you do it this way or is there a better way? OK. 
Okay, and then I guess I just peel this off. Okay. Um, so I got it to here, and then they say you're gonna score the skin where the little membrane, the white membranes are, which are kind of where the like fatter part of the pomegranate is. So like here, I'm gonna score down here, wherever you see the little segments. pomegranate is has gone bad it looks disgusting so I'm afraid to eat any of it I'm hoping this is the only one that's gone bad because these were not cheap <laughs> anyway let's try the next one and see if it's not all icky inside I hope otherwise we will have to think of a different plan for this video I think we're in luck with this guy I don't think the video is ruined. <laughs> Even if it's only one pomegranate that we get to do. Oh well. Okay. Do we see the beautiful seeds inside? So the TikTokers told me, remove the center membrane that's in there. Any little extra pieces that are visible. And so one version was submerge this in water and just kind of wiggle all the seeds out. The other version was flip this over and whip it with the back of a wooden spoon. We're gonna try the wooden spoon first. So I definitely liked the water method better. The whacking just did not loosen up the seeds very well maybe if it was more ripe it would have but when you do this it works fine and then the white membranes kind of just float to the top and you can skim those out and then you got your beautiful seeds here in the bottom i'm gonna get a few more of these opened and then we will move on that was a labor of love but i got it all done let me show you how many pomegranate seeds i got don't they look so beautiful they're so good. I love pomegranate seeds, so I am so excited to see how these turn out. Definitely worth the effort of peeling all those pomegranates. So all I did five of those big jumbo sized pomegranates. The one was bad, but the rest were fine. So I will call that a win. And now I'm just gonna let these dry a little bit before I get them onto my freeze dryer trays. Super excited for these and I've got a couple ideas on how to use the freeze dried pomegranates besides just snacking because I think they're gonna taste superb. I want to get my freeze dryer going before I get my pomegranates on my tray so this has time to cool down and it'll be ready by the time my food is on the trays, if that makes sense. So I am gonna go into customize, I'm just hitting reset. I am good with my standard settings here, except I just increased my dry time to like seven extra hours for when I am doing food. I'm gonna hit save and start. And it's gonna have a 15 minute cool down period. So while we wait for this to cool down, I will go finish my trays. But what I was saying is that while I, um, increase my extra dry temp because sometimes your food might end in the middle of the night and I prefer to just have it continue to dry and then I can take it out when I am up in the morning. So that's why I do that extra long dry time. But you can obviously take it out sooner than that if your food is done sooner. I also want to remind everybody that there are a few weeks left of Harvest Rights Black Friday sale. They are offering their biggest discount that they have offered on the new Harvest Strike Pro freeze dryer. Mine is the older version. They came out with a new Pro version this year and it's awesome. It gives you five trays instead of four. So you get more retail space in your freeze dryer, which is great. 
If you have any questions about the type of freeze dryer you might need for your family or for what you want to do with it, feel free to drop those in the comments. I am happy to help answer any questions that you have. Mine is a medium sized freeze dryer and I've been very happy with it. I have an affiliate link with Harvest Dry in my video description below. You can click there and shop for freeze dryers if that's something you are wanting for Christmas. It is the perfect time to treat yourself to a freeze dryer because you get a good discount. These look so delicious. Can't even handle it. I cannot wait to see how these turn out freeze dried. So I got my pomegranate seeds in there. It is first gonna do the freezing process. After it freezes, it will do the drying process. And when it is all done, we will pull them out and see how they look. jars of pomegranate seeds. I vacuum sealed the tops of these and now I can just reach for them whenever I want to and then I will just re-vacuum seal the jar. These are gonna be so good for snacking. I want to show you my original idea for these pomegranate seeds, how I wanted to eat them because it sounded delicious. I thought these would be so good just sprinkled on top of some Greek yogurt. You get a nice protein snack with some delicious pomegranate crunch to it. So let's mix this up real quick and see how it tastes. These are giving me raisin vibes, like pomegranate raisins is kind of the texture of how they are seeming. Maybe a little crunchier than raisins, but. Mmm. That's good. They actually have a really nice texture. You kind of get like a little bit of the crunch, but also a little bit of the chewiness. Um, and it just tastes so good with the yogurt. This is gonna be a go-to breakfast for me. I'm hoping to give you some ideas on how you can use stuff like this. It also would be good sprinkled on top of like cereals, ice cream, if you want something not quite as healthy, but this is like a little treat. I'm gonna finish up my little snack and I just wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support here on my freeze drying channel. I'm so sorry about my weird scratchy voice. I am feeling much better, but my vocal cords are still kind of recovering. So I think that's it. We're gearing up for birthdays and Christmas in our house because all three of my kids have birthdays right before Christmas. So that's fun, but. We get through it, it's okay. Do any of you have December birthdays? It's kind of a tough one for a parent, but probably for a kid too. We still manage to try to make it special and fun. So my little guy's birthday is actually tomorrow and I just can't believe he's turning six. He's getting so old. He's in kindergarten this year, he's loving it. And it just makes me sad that they have to grow up. But I guess that's, what you're supposed to do. Anyway, I will catch you guys on the next freeze drying adventure. Hopefully my voice will be back to normal by then. <laughs> See you later.